Welcome back to PF News. I'm your host, Philip the Car, with my co-host, Woody Chipper. In today's news, I'm not wearing any pants. In today's news, I'm still not wearing pants. The cut did nothing. In other news, recent changes within the last few weeks has players outraged about movement. Once again, the quick reaction to people never cease to make the problem worse and cause mass dissatisfaction. On a different note, popular rapper P. Diddy has been outed as a P. Diddler. We got the opportunity for an exclusive interview with him where he spilled the beans on the recent accusations. Oh shoot, my beans. Yeah man, I don't even know what y'all talk about man, I didn't do nothing. Everybody just out here got it out for me man. I didn't even touch Angela or Sheila or Montavious or Chanel or anybody I lowered to the corner of the room bro. Y'all just haters man. Uh, were those names listed in the court case? No? Can someone write those down and call the wee woos? Anyways, recent reports from the front lines have revealed new armored skirmishes clashing in hopes of breaking the stalemate. Drone footage shows the metal titans battling it out for honor and glory. And money. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? I'm gonna kill you! Oh, that's so cute. You're so... Boo! You little f***ing sh**. You little f***ing... You little f***ing... Yeah. <laughs> when this reloads, you are so dead. You are so dead. I am going to kill you. You are so dead, you little My heart goes out to those brave men in those tin cans. I wouldn't even get in a Barbie Jeep as a kid because I was claustrophobic. In more important news, there- Hello, Philip. Hello? This is Armir calling from the support car and motor center calling about your car's extended warranty. But I don't have a car. Well, congratulations, my friend. Check outside. Wait, what? Hold on. Hello, I am Amir calling you from the PF News Station. Recent storms in Britain have been causing mass amounts of property damage. We go live to Michelle in the falling sky water. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And don't swim in the sea. Incredibly, people have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill, both today and yesterday. <laughs> But a wonderful report where absolutely nothing went wrong. You won't take my job! Sorry about that. A recent event involving two police officers and an armed robber has been caught on camera from a business security camera. Officers Helmeta and Bingus were ambushed when responding to a 911 call about a robbery. If you're a coward and don't like the sound of gunshots, please don't watch the following footage. Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm hit! We've got an unknown suspect firing at us from cover. I'm moving around! Police, don't move! Suspect down. Suspect down. Officer Helmeta is set to make a full recovery, and thanks to their heroic actions, all stolen property was recovered from the burgled businesses. The criminal's family has released a statement regarding his death, stating, and I quote, He deserved it. I said no, I don't want to be interviewed. I always hated that kid. I knew he'd make it on the news one day. How did you get in my house? What a supportive and loving family. In other news, a case study on the average intelligence of the human race has gone viral on the internet after a rather interesting conversation with a random man. Here's the footage of the popular online video. Alright, today I'm going to be going to random people on the street and asking basic questions to see how dumb people actually are. Which continent is south of North America? Uh, uh Africa? Yes. Who was the 31st president of the United States? Herbert Hoover. What? Yeah, that's correct. Exactly how much does a Ford Fiesta weigh? 2,537 pounds. How did... Never mind. Name a primary color. 
Uh, black? Was I right? I like turtles. What's your name? Uh, could I phone a friend on that? What? I only ask for your name. It's a hard question, okay? All right, forget it. There are seven continents on Earth. Name one of them. Russia. No, that's that's a country, not a continent. Same thing, right? No, it's not the same thing at all. It's not even close. Okay, Einstein. All right. What's 17 minus 17? I'm going to have to say orange. What? Which crayon flavor tastes the best? Oh, this is easy. It has to be purple. <sighs> Extremely rich that in flavors. So much. Okay, last question. We're going to circle back to the first question. You've had plenty of time to think about it, okay? What is your name? Hmm. North America. I quit. I'm done. Why couldn't you have asked me about the mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell? Such hard questions. Well, that is truly horrifying. I don't know. I thought they sounded intelligent. What? They... Never mind. I worry about you sometimes, Woody. As the presidential elections draw even closer, the campaign trail has begun and our current president, Joe Biden, has begun his heartwarming speeches all across America. Please enjoy the following clip of his recent speech in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hello, South Dakota. I, 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 I think that America is a nation that can never be divided by division. Because most kids don't know how to do division. Just like the dogs in our tennis courts, sometimes you have to break a couple eggs to fill a bathtub with freedom. Freedom! Free. And that's okay. Because just like President Jesus said 200 years ago, I have a dream. A dream with ponies and ducks flying in... I thought that was really pretty... Pre Proof, pr refunded. And as president, I vow to protect us from all threats, seagulls, and aliens, not Mexicans, maybe. And with the great help of my wife and my sister, who is the love of my life, I will bring this nation. Oh. What an inspiring speaker. Truly a Shakespeare of our time. Yeah, if Shakespeare had shaken baby syndrome. We got him. What's happening? Secret service. We're arresting Woody Chipper for angry words against the president. Please do not resist. Why are you talking like that? Because I'm the secret service. Okay, fair enough. Am I in trouble? Did you say anything mean about the president? In unrelated news, two New Yorkers got into an argument on a crosswalk recently. Footage of the event was captured by an onlooker and sent to us because they wanted clout. Well, guess what, Angela Loves Dogs 73? You're not getting any recognition. Crap. Hey, I'm walking here. No, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. No, I'm walking here. No, you're not walking here. I said I'm you walking here. You jabroni, I'm walking here. 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 Legend has it, they're still walking there. Thank goodness I don't live there. Well, anyway, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thank you for watching PF News. I'm your host, Philip the Car, with my co-host, Wo- Oh. The Secret Service! You'll never be Woody!